Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shelly and I'm right here with Miss Carol Beckford and she is the manager, let me get it right, manager for Creative Industries at Jampro and also the film commissioner. Yes, yes. Right. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about the Jamaican film industry. Of course, you know, um, we have produced some pretty, you know, famous and infamous movies thus far, but um, what are the plans to build on our film industry? I think now is a good time to start to thinking about how we convert some of our scripts, mm -hmm. adapt some of our books and put them on television and on screen. Mm -hmm. um, Brand Jamaica has been super exposed, mm -hmm. but I think in the creative industries with regards to television and films, mm -hmm. Instead of facilitating, we need to be pushing out more content. Nice. And I think, for example, you know, being here at the IT and Fancy Cat season seven, right. although it's a comedy, mm -hmm. it's an integral part of what Jamaica has as TV content. Mm -hmm. And I've challenged them to put a full length feature together for the IT and Fancy Cat oh, show. That would be excellent. The Ellis family is yes. an incredible family and mm -hmm. they have enough stories within that family mm -hmm. to put a full length show together. Mm -hmm. And July 2015 is no better a time than to launch that. Oh, fantastic. So tell us a little bit about your plans for July 2015. What's, what's going to happen? We're hosting a film festival in Kingston. Nice. It is not the first film festival we're having, but mm -hmm. it's one of the let's call it an authentic one we're partnering with our colleagues in jamaica and the caribbean mm. we are building the capacity of the industry mm -hmm. we're saying to the public or we're saying to the technical people in the industry get your screenwriters mm -hmm. Get your people together, use our actors, use our dancers, use mm -hmm. our designers, put everybody together. And make it a fully Jamaican product. Absolutely. Okay. We're also going to offer the opportunity to independent film producers across the world mm -hmm. and TV networks and distributors to come and look at what we have to offer. Oh, nice. And so we want to make it an international event, but mm -hmm. we want to have a particular place mm -hmm. to have Jamaican content. Oh, that's fantastic. So how does a young filmmaker who's keeping it in the loop right now enter or participate in this film festival for July next year? First of all, come into Jumper and talk to us. There's a form that you can go on jamaicacreative.com, fill it mm -hmm. out. We'll get back to you. We'll tell you which production houses are looking for people. Right who you can hook up with to mm -hmm. get these things done. There's an open day activity, mm -hmm. but it's an ongoing campaign. Mm -hmm. So you can go to jamaicacreative.com. Once you fill out the form, mm -hmm. somebody will call you back to tell you based on the skill set that you have, mm -hmm. who you can best work with. Oh, that is fantastic. So um, you expect to see international people come in and look at what we have to offer and maybe form some sort of partnership out of that. Oh yes, there are opportunities. For example, I went to the Toronto International Film Festival mm -hmm. and Canada has access to much more funds Ooh, than we do in Jamaica. Yes. So if you co-write, co-direct mm. and co-shoot mm -hmm. projects mm -hmm. between Canada and Jamaica, mm -hmm. there are some opportunities to earn funds from Canada. Okay. And the Jamaican Canada experience has been good. Yes. We have yes. had trade relations, yeah, we have we had have relations in sports Canada, and so right. on. So we can negotiate that and we can write significant stories. So many Jamaicans go to Canada mm -hmm. and the stories are just bouncing. I mean, oh. you think of Ben Johnson, mm -hmm. Donovan Bailey, right. they're extremely good stories. So we can create stuff and we want to co-partner. There are some agreements that we can put together mm -hmm. and we want to see that on screen. Oh, well, that sounds very exciting. Can you just tell us a little bit about your experience in going to the Canadian Film Festival and what you might want to use from that experience to put on our own film festival next year? Oh, the logistics are extremely mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. It is in a major city mm -hmm. in Toronto. Right. How the streets are decorated, how the, the films are being scheduled in terms of the programming, mm -hmm. what happens day to day, the workshops, the seminars, how you are trying to attract even one big superstar from somewhere around the world. Mm -hmm. I won't tell you yet who I'm going after. Ooh, all right. You I know? can give some suggestions. <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> but we want to look at that. And mm -hmm. Kingston is the capital of creativity in the region. Without a doubt. So we want to stamp that kind of authority. And television and film is what we're going to use to put that out. Oh, sounds like exciting times, people. We're definitely going to keep you in the loop on this. Miss Beckford don't know it yet, but I'm going to stalk her and definitely keep you in the loop with what's going on. It's a film festival. I'm looking forward to it because we have some fantastic stories to tell. Jamaicans are dramatic people, so I'm sure we'll make some excellent, excellent features. Yeah, man, and thanks for keeping me in the loop. All right. <laughs> Take care, guys. Keep it in the loop.